You guys have left me with no choice for the letter W. We're gonna be splitting it down the middle again and giving it two different themes. We are back on our alphabet lot. And if you have not yet seen episodes A to V, I'll link it in the playlist down in the description box. But at last we are reaching the end and we are on our pre antepenultimate letter. That is a word I do not get to use very often, so you know I had to take that opportunity to say that. But here we go with the letter W, which is basically just the letter M flipped upside down. And much like the letter M, you guys insisted that I cut the letter W in half and have one half be for a witch slash wizard and the other half be for a werewolf. I don't know how many times I have to tell you guys, but I am not an occult person, but I did do mermaids in our U for underwater build. And then I did vampires in our V for vampires build. So it only seems fitting that I continue the trend finish all of the occults and then after today you guys will never have to ask me to do another occult themed build ever again right right are we in agreement let's shake on that we've come to an agreement okay watch me just turn into like a full-on occult build channel from here on out okay this is all your guys's fault for the floor plan, I want to make sure that it's very different from our M build. So even though the floor plan for the M build might have been the most efficient for that shape, I'm going to try something completely new. Okay, here's the floor plan for our W duplex. So in the top corner here, we're going to have our bathroom. Right off of the bathroom, we'll have our kitchen area and possibly a dining area if there's space which will then flow into our open concept bedroom and living room area. I think we can pull off something semi-decent with this though. So without further ado, let's get started on our witch slash werewolf W-shaped duplex. Let's start with the witch slash wizard side first. And I think the first thing I'm gonna do is just place down some of this flooring from the Realm of Magic pack. I have a feeling that I'm gonna be using a lot of Realm of Magic on this side. I'm honestly not sure if I wanna go for like a dark color scheme for the wizard side or if I wanna go for something more like light and whimsical. Okay, I guess I'm starting with the bathroom. We're already here, might as well. I feel like this will be pretty quick because we did get a fairly complete bathroom set with the Realm of Magic pack. We'll do the shower and toilet in this this black and gold swatch. And then on this side, the matching sink as well. I kind of want to include some of these Realm of Magic windows as well. Don't worry, we're gonna put curtains. Some of these stained glass swatches are so pretty, oh my gosh. We kind of need a different backsplash now though. Ooh, let's also use some of these bug sconces as well. Those look really pretty. I feel like the stained glass isn't that see-through, so we don't really need to add curtains in here, but I will be adding this plant from the Modern Lux kit. For the floor mat, I actually just sized down this rug from the Journey to the Two pack. It's like this broken tile texture. For some reason to me, it's kind of working, so I like it. And here's our dark and moody wizard slash witch bathroom all done. It's a pretty simple layout, but I think it does the trick. And I really, really love the stained glass window. I feel like that is the standout piece here. All right, it's kitchen time. By the way, I know a lot of you guys don't like it when the bathroom is right off of the kitchen, but in my opinion, in a one bedroom home, I still think it's a better option for it to be in a more communal space versus connected to your bedroom but I don't know which is my opinion luckily we did manage to get some new kitchen counters with the realm of magic pack which I'm pretty pleased with I pretty much never use these ones maybe I'll do like a true galley kitchen this time and just make it really skinny like this Okay, wait, I forgot that we have counters that come with the Realm of Magic pack, but we didn't get the matching cabinets. And I will admit that that is triggering me more than it should. <laughs> no joke, this is probably why I don't use Realm of Magic that often. It's because we don't even have the matching cabinets. Maybe I can do something super whimsical and do like open shelving with these stacks of books. I also need to bring more of this stained glass into this room. That looks pretty decent. I'm kind of over the cabinet situation now that we have this beautiful stained glass. Also, this hood fan from the Growing Together pack matches the stove pretty perfectly, so my mood is slowly improving. Now I'm just gonna clutter it up a little bit with some kitchen essentials. Okay, here are the counters all cluttered up. I just grabbed some of these potions from the debug menu of Realm of Magic and also included the scale. Now, I actually forgot that there are cauldrons with Realm of Magic as well, so I deleted some of the counters on this side of the kitchen so I could fit this cauldron in in the corner. I just put it on an angle like this so they should still be able to use it just in this open space. 
And then on this side of the kitchen, we just have our sink. And then I scattered a few of these book stack open shelves from the book nook kit and just put some extra potions. Now I'm just gonna go in with some more mood lighting, maybe even some fairy lights as well. I'm just using these fairy lights from the parenthood pack. It's definitely a little bit on the childish side, but I kind of like it. And here is our witchy Realm of Magic kitchen, all done. I absolutely love the blue and purple tones with the black and gold. It feels dark and moody, but still like pretty and whimsical, if you know what I mean. So I love how it turned out. Okay, on to the bedroom section. So there's something inside that is just calling my name and I need to raise this section up on a platform here, okay? I don't know what it is with me and platforms, you guys, but I just can't resist. If I can add a platform, I will, without a doubt. <laughs> and I think this actually works out better because then we can open up the kitchen here with a fence. Let's anchor it in with some of these Realm of Magic columns as well. Now that's looking really pretty. I'm super happy we did that. Now for the bed, I really wanna use this large canopy bed from the Realm of Magic pack. So we really only have a few options on where we can place the bed. We can either put it here facing the kitchen or we can turn it 90 degrees and place it against this long wall. Okay, here's the layout I'm going with and I really wanted to stick with this purple, blue and black stained glass theme. I'm especially obsessed with this huge round stained glass window that is absolutely beautiful i could not pass that up we've been using a ton of realm of magic obviously but i don't want this to just default into like a single pack build so i'm gonna try and incorporate some other packs into this theme as well and i thought that this mirrored side table from city living in the purple swatch would be perfect and for the rug i thought it would be fun to go for this illuminated lotus rug from the spa day pack to me this is giving like magical whimsical vibes for the dresser i'm gonna go with this thinner one from the Realm of Magic pack. Since we have like bugs and flowers on the wall, I think it would be really pretty if we incorporated some of these butterflies as well. Also because it kind of matches the color scheme. I just cluttered up the corner with some books, this plant, and also included this bench at the end of the bed. Okay, I just added this wand case and added this wand from the debug section. Also added this little crystal here and some magical books here from the debug section, as well as this Realm of Magic mirror. And here is our witch whimsical bedroom all done I am obsessed with the color scheme and you can really tell that the sim who lives here is super academic and super into studying there is no doubt that this sim wants to become the most powerful witch or wizard in the realm of magic onto the living room now we are left with a pretty small space I was thinking we should dedicate a little bit of the space to be an office since we did say that the sim is studious this sim doesn't need a couch and a TV they they prefer to make potions at their cauldron and do some reading. Because this weird corner is basically unusable, I decided to section it off and raise it up on a platform. That way it's kind of like a little pedestal of sorts. And then I'm just gonna fill in that empty space with some of these debug crystals and just size them down. Kind of making it like a sort of shrine or something. Or maybe they're researching these crystals and doing tests or something. <laughs> Okay, here is our little office study area all done. We have the crystals on display. I also have some more debug potions as well as this crystal ball and just like books scattered around the office area. On this side right behind the desk, I just included this Realm of Magic cabinet with various supplies for their experiments. Now I just need to finish off with the front door so they can actually enter the home and then we'll be all done with this side. Right by the door here, I just included some of these broomsticks from the debug section. And with that being said, here is the witch slash wizard side of the W all done. I think that this looks super sick. The black color scheme makes it look witchy, but then the purple color scheme makes it look magical and whimsical. And to top it all off, I think that this floor plan is actually pretty realistic. This definitely feels like a witch or wizard student that is hunkering down and studying really hard. But let me know what you guys think. Let's move on to the werewolf side of the W. Okay, we're moving on to the other half of the W, which is the werewolf side. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of nervous that we went way too ham on the witchy side and the werewolf side just won't live up to it. Starting off at the bathroom, now I think we're gonna go for some sort of industrial bunker or warehouse vibe on this side. I went for this Strangerville shower tub combo. It's like really grungy. I don't really know if I'm down for that. And then maybe I'll go for this plain steel toilet here. 
Okay, I just changed some of the swatches to give it more of a copper vibe instead. Now I'm gonna choose a mirror and some decorations. Okay, I just grabbed this mirror from the Werewolves pack. Now it doesn't really make sense for the mirror to be like all the way through the sink. But then if you look underneath, look at how perfectly the pipe intersects with the cracks of the mirror. It's almost as if they just like installed the sink on top of the mirror and just like cracked right through it. So I think it's kind of perfect and we have to use it. And let's make sure to add one of these open windows from the werewolves pack for some natural ventilation. Now I'm just putting some of these pipe decorations on the wall. These are from the city living pack. For the bathroom mat, just like the wizard side, I'm using this rug from the journey to Batu pack. This one kind of looks like a grate or a drain or something. So I think it kind of works perfectly. I just swapped out the overhead light for this one from the werewolves pack. And here is our werewolves industrial bathroom all done. I think it looks pretty warehousey and pretty grungy, but the white accents actually make it look a little bit aesthetic at the same time. Since this is a warehouse, it would be kind of funny if the bathroom door actually like had the bathroom symbol on it as if it's like a commercial or industrial space. Moving on to the kitchen area. Now before I get started, I do want to raise this area up on a platform and kind of create a similar layout as the wizard side. I especially wanted to do this because the werewolves pack comes with some pretty cool columns and spandrels. Also, I was kind of thinking since we did a darker color scheme on the witchy side where we probably could have gotten away with with doing like a light beige, like light blue color scheme on this side, but we went dark. On this side where we probably could get away with doing like a dark industrial theme, we should go light instead. So it's almost like opposite vibes in a way. Maybe we can do some like white wood on the floor as if they just painted it with some white paint. And then let's see if we can make these white industrial counters from the base game work. It might be too much white. Let's try these wood floorboards from the Get Famous pack instead. Okay, here is our basic kitchen layout, all of the appliances and countertops are from the base game, and then I just added these big open windows from the werewolves pack. Now I'm just gonna go in with some kitchen clutter and maybe try and incorporate some of these items from the werewolves pack as well. Like I just sized down these plants and then raised them up on the counter to make them look like fresh herbs or something. Okay, here is our kitchen all cluttered up. I just have some essentials from the base game. This utensil holder is actually from the horse ranch pack. And then all of these decorations are from the werewolves pack. Some of them are from the debug menu as well. And then on this side, we just have more clutter from the werewolves pack. This graffiti art piece Piece I thought was really cool. It definitely makes it look like a werewolf hideout. And then I also found this open shelf piece from the werewolves pack where I just put some of their artifacts and stuff. And here is our warehouse werewolf kitchen all done. I love how it looks grungy and a little bit worn down, but also a little bit soft and aesthetic with the white accents, which is exactly what I was going for. Onto the bedroom section. Now this is the bed that came with the werewolves pack, but I don't think I want to use it, I actually think I want to use something that is more along the lines of a sleeping bag or honestly maybe even like an air mattress or something. I think that could be kind of funny. I guess the problem with the air mattress idea is it doesn't necessarily come in our preferred color scheme. Um, we do also have this grungy one from the Eco Lifestyle Pack which might be a little too grungy, but maybe this is my opportunity to use it. Like I'm basically trying to go for like a grungy, worn down warehouse aesthetic, but the person who lives here also likes neutrals and has like a soft side, you know what I mean? Let's add one of these worn down overhead fans as well. Ooh, it looks like we have some run down rugs as well, which would be perfect. The first swatch is honestly kind of perfect. Some of the colors here tie in with the colors on these apple crates. Let's put one of these log love seats at the end of the bed. Maybe the werewolf who lives here found this outside in the woods and really wanted it in their house. <laughs> And maybe we can use this werewolf's bookshelf right here kind of as a room divider. I imagine when you live in a warehouse, you can't really make too many structural changes. So you have to kind of DIY your own walls and stuff. And for a dresser, let's just grab this clothing rack. This is from the Get Famous pack. I especially like this one because a lot of the clothes are like wrapped up in garment bags as if they're not really worn very often. So it kind of indicates to me that this werewolf spends most of their time in werewolf form and 
doesn't really have the chance to wear human clothes all that often. Okay, I'm really happy. It's actually looking really good. Now I just want to add some more items from the werewolves pack. I was thinking of adding one of these tire seats just to the corner here. And I also want to go in with a ton of these scratches on the wall. There's like a bunch of different swatches with this item, so they don't all have to look like uniform scratches. And it's really fun because they also come in rug form or floor form, so you can put them all over the ground as well. This long crack is kind of cool. I think I'll put this in the kitchen. I'm also going to clutter up the end tables. I'm using these like dirty mugs from the Everyday Clutter Kit. And I'm just finishing off this bedroom with this tarp curtain from the Werewolves Pack. And I think I'm just going to cover one window because it looks more disheveled that way. And here is our werewolf warehouse bedroom all done. I think it's the perfect combination of cozy and grungy. And honestly, the beige aesthetic is just so funny to me. I think it's very ironic and that's kind of what I love about it. Moving around this corner to the living room area. So similar to the witchy side, I don't know if I want to give them a formal living room or just give them some sort of activities. I know at the werewolves pack, we got a lot of new fitness equipment. So I was thinking, that maybe the sim who lives here is really into fitness and would rather prioritize having a home gym than a living room. I can just perfectly slot this punching bag into the corner there so it makes it a little bit more useful. And then we'll also have room for this other workout machine. I'm just lining this wall with some of these cracked werewolves mirrors to make it look more like a gym. And then we definitely need more of these grungy werewolves posters on the wall. Whoa, this rainbow one is actually really pretty it doesn't really fit our like beige aesthetic but i kind of love it this one maybe is a little bit more subtle and matches some of the colors that we have going on okay that's looking good now i'm just gonna add a front entrance as well we definitely have to go for this tough warehouse door and hopefully grab it in a light or neutral swatch. I think this brown one looks pretty good. Now I'm just gonna add a bunch of clutter, like literally anything I can find that I might have missed. Okay, I just added one more window here just so there's some ventilation in the gym. Cluttered up the entrance a little bit and just to solidify the fact that this is in fact a grungy werewolf warehouse house, I put the garbage can right by the door right next to the bed, okay? So you can't tell me that this place is too soft looking. There's literally a garbage can right next to the bed, but it's a werewolf that lives here, so they don't really care. They probably can't smell it. It just smells normal to them. They like the smell of garbage. It's like their version of an incense. <laughs> but with that being said, here is our werewolf hideout all done. I really like the direction we went with this one. I think it contrasts really nicely against the dark witchy side. and even even though grungy werewolf hideouts aren't really my vibe, I feel like I was able to kind of infuse some Dr. Ashley aesthetic into this. But you guys, that is our witch versus werewolf W-shaped home all done. I can't believe you guys talked me into doing like another split letter. I didn't think I was going to do another one where there's two aesthetics in one build, but there were so many comments suggesting this idea and also they had a lot of likes on them, like hundreds of likes. So I say simply could not ignore it. Make sure to leave a comment down below which side of the W you like better and why. And also before you go, don't forget to comment down below what theme we should do next week for the letter X. No joke, the only word that comes to mind that starts with the letter X is xylophone or x-ray, but neither of those sound like good ideas and they're not aesthetics, so I'm gonna need you guys to come through with the better suggestions. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. As usual, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and want to see more episodes. It really helps me out and also just makes me feel happy. And subscribe if you haven't already. It is dark out, so I'm gonna go have dinner now, but I hope you guys all have a very, very, very above average day. Love you!